I just need a place to change, Ms. Bell. After Michael's burrito lasagna seafood surprise, the bathroom has become uninhabitable by humans. This is my casual suit. It is very important to have a clear distinction between work life and home life. Speaking of which, how have you liked living at the Chronicle? Well, I envy you. Father won't let me sleep here, despite numerous formal requests. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Interrupt and, uh... Speak. Come to me. Angel. Mr. Smee? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, he's still breathing, but... <laughs> sorry, sorry, I was lost in thought, in wonderful, blissful thought. I... Is that a fairy? I've never seen a fairy before. If you don't mind my saying, Miss... Miss Bell. You are absolutely beautiful. Hello. <clears throat> I brought this. Oh. Well, my father's not here, but on behalf of the Chronicle, I... I... Um, I didn't actually bring it for your father. I, um... I brought it for you. It's the same we had at dinner the other night. You... The kind you liked? Brought this for me? Mm -hmm. Well, I will let you get on with your night. Have a good evening, Mr. Darling. Mr. Smee, would you care to have a glass with me? I'd be delighted. I have Johnny Corkscrew right here. You have lived quite the life, Mr. Smee. I've traveled the world, done some amazing things, sure, but still. What? What is it? An amazing life doesn't mean much when done alone, is all. I'll tell you a secret. An ordinary life doesn't mean much alone, either. I know I don't know you very well, Mr. Darling, but having talked with you for the past few hours, I don't see how anything about you could be labeled as just ordinary. I... Thank you, Mr. Smee. Uh, more wine, Mr. Darling? Yes. And please, call me John. Very well, John. And for you, Miss Bell? Uh, what? No, come on. Michael, what are you doing here? Oh, Peter and Lily are playing safari again in my room. I just want to find some place quiet to go to sleep. I... Well, well, hi, guy from Super Awkward Dinner the other night. Um, how goes it? Um, well? His name is Mr. Smee, and you will address him as such. Oh, okay, I'll call you guys whatever you want, just... Please let me go to bed. <clears throat> you, you do know it's 1 a.m., right? 1 a.m.? Well, that means that we've been here for... Seven hours. I should... I should get home. Yes, yes, me too. I'm sure Mr. Hook is waiting for me. Oh, actually, John, before you go, could, um, could you see me asleep? Michael, I... Of course. Mm -hmm. Mr. Smee, do you know the lost boy? I do. I learned it when I was a boatswain. It's an old sea shanty about a boy lost at sea. Indeed. Later it was turned into a lullaby and Wendy used to sing it to us. Hmm. Ms. Bell, could you give us an E-flat? Oh, lay down your head. Let the moonlight be your bed. For while you drift alone at sea, you can close your eyes and dream of me And then you'll be lonely no more Lonely no more Lonely no more Realize you've never felt like this before When you're lonely Yeah! 
Yeah, I know that didn't work. Um, let's try some Beyonce. All the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies, all the single ladies. All the single ladies.